And we need a, a, a square and a, a drawing book. And I'm going to use this and a pair of calipers and a list of measurements that I will be taking off of Gabrielle. So I'll, the first thing I have to do is mark points on her head so that I can always be sure that when I'm measuring, I'm measuring to the same places all the time because I need to triangulate all these, these points. Before I begin that, I have to make my points on my model and I use a, an eyeliner for that. The first one point we're going to make is right here on the sternal notch. Okay, and I want to try and make sure I get everything centered. Next one is going to be right here in the tragus. Let's have you turn a little bit this way. The tragus is this spot right here, the notch of the ear. We're going to put a little mark right there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now we're going to do a measurement. And this is, you have to be careful to try and make sure that these measurements are all centered. I'll put one right on her chin at the most prominent point of her chin, not underneath and not on top, but right, right there on the part that sticks out the furthest. Okay, and then we're going to put one right in the middle of her nose and make sure we get it centered. And we're going to put another one up here on the hairline and make sure that this is centered. Okay, those are the basic points that we're going to be measuring to and from on my paper here. And this gives me a, a line to plot my measurements on and this way and this is just a baseline that I can always measure from up to the, to the measurement itself. And I use my calipers like this. When you use your calipers, you can scare the bejesus out of your model with these things. So what you want to do is get close at a distance, put it up, see how far you have to go, take them away, expand them or contract them, put them back until you find the right distance. Okay, and that goes from the sternal notch right exactly to that point on her ear. Then I'm going to bring that over here, put one into the calipers at the bottom of my baseline, and then I'm going to write the number that corresponds to that measurement make a little hash mark and write number one. And that number one refers to that number one, which is the distance from her sternal notch to her left ear. The next measurement is ear to ear. I'm going to touch the calipers on this ear, and then I'm going to come over here and bring my caliper right up to her ear there very gently so I don't stab her. And then I'm going to transfer that to the paper. Now we're going to check this this way. We're going to make this measurement here left ear to chin, and then I'm going to just double check that with the right ear to chin and see if it touches in the same place. And if it does, that means that I got that spot centered and measurements are all right. If it's really off one way or the other, then that either means that she's really asymmetrical, which she doesn't seem to be asymmetrical at all, or else the, the dot is not centered. But that measurement came out just right. So that's going to get me the measurement for number three, left ear to chin and number four, right ear to chin. Our next measurement is number five, left ear to nose. And again, just touch your nose lightly. Now I'm going to check that against the other side for symmetry. And those are the same. Now seven and eight are going to go from the ear to the hairline. On our ear, and I'll check the other side for symmetry and that spot hits the same. Next measurement is number nine, and that's from the chin to the nose. So you go from this point. Okay. That's the number nine measurement. Number 10 is the chin to hairline. And you want to be pretty accurate with these. Good. Now next is nose to hairline, number 11. Our next measurement, we're going to measure from her chin to her mid-eyebrows. And this 
uh, that's, we're kind of going to measure that arc across there, so we just want to get in the general vicinity because we're going to use this measurement to establish her, her brow line. And it should be just right like that. So here, we're going to, I want to measure from the inside conjunction of her eye to the other inside conjunction. And I don't want to actually touch her eyes with the caliper, so I'm going to get pretty close before I get up there. And then I'm going to put the caliper right underneath her eyes and just kind of project down from that point to the ends of the calipers, and that looks pretty close to me. And the next measurement to the outside is going to be also to the conjunction. Now that's not the conjunction of the lid and this fat pad here. This is the actual conjunction of the, the two lids together that I'm looking for. So you can be deceived and end up measuring out here. And what the measurement you really want is right there where the, the upper and lower lids conjoin. Just sort of project down visually from that corner to the end of the calipers, and that's pretty close. Now we're going to go from the outside of the eye, same spot, that, that conjunction to her, to the tragus, just on one side, just it's something we can use later to check. I'm going to put the caliper just not on it, just close. And that looks pretty close to the conjunction in her eye. And the next measurement is a really easy one. Uh, it's from this uh, acromion process to that acromion process. If we were going to do an entire, a full studio portrait, bus portrait, we'd need that measurement. And the next measurement is out to the widest part of her deltoids.